guys, that is the fridge slash freezer for 9 liters. I was going to use it in my boat in summertime as the freezer and as the fridge here because I only have a freezer in my garage. My true honest first impression was presented in the video, you will see the link in the description below. And now I decided to go deep to research about the temperature profile and uh, power consumption profile of this fridge. Uh, if you watched my first video, you know that we have ice socket and the temperature sensor there, so we can monitor the energy, the temperature. We have the up here, so it is current temperature, it is power consumption here, actually, it's not the current one, but okay. So, but the most interesting thing uh, was there about temperature data log, when you can see the graph um, over the time. And we are going to the computer to see a better picture of this. So I am over computer, I put it uh, full screen. Yeah, I have a lot of different stuff here. I will try uh, to focus on the right uh, things. So, first of all, let's check a temperature data logger. And you can see on the computer, it's very convenient because you have that big line. And yeah, so we have been here on the start, right? Yeah, at 22. Then we quite quickly dropped to minus about 13. And then we see uh, a profile of eco mode uh, and we can see that it stays at about uh, minus 13 and well it got minus 19 yeah almost minus 20 but I don't see any minus 20 but that is the profile of this uh, freezer in eco mode at minus 20 yeah so, for example, what I mean, the profile, yeah? So, for example, here I have... Uh, okay, okay. That's, by the way, quite old stuff about cool box that i shown you before, which is not compressor type. And here you can see, so we, we had 25, and the minimum what we could get from that was 3, which is about 20 a degree difference as it stated and the profile is quite flat yeah because it's constantly running uh, but in the compressor type it sometimes stops sometimes uh, starts sometimes stops starts yeah um, on the uh, mobile phone you would see graphs like that but because we have quite a long uh, graph here we can see this way. For example, I can show you uh, roof temperature profile. That is quite interesting here. Yeah? So it is like night time and then when sun shines it's and then it's again night time like that. So you can research profile of different types of um, equipment. Yeah. So well we got it. Uh, let me show in foreign gates for those who don't understand Celsius. Yeah, so it's like that. We started at 70, quite normal room temperature, and dropped to about zero. So, and it is about zero. Yeah, okay. And uh, then the next will be. Um, uh, energy metering. So again, I have quite many stuff here, but we are interested about this portable fridge. So if you remember, we reset it, uh, well, in the first part, of the, in the first video, we reset it uh, yesterday at 8 p.m. 14 minutes, and now it's about uh, 2 p.m. next day, and that's how much we consumed. And actually here, guys, I will do... So let me hold my phone. I will do quite interesting stuff. Because I'm interesting one day power consumption. I don't want to wait for more time. I want to test um, uh, max mode on the next day. So here we have statistic. Well, uh, yeah. It is when I was tested uh, humidity modifier. That's when we reset. I actually don't need that part. So I will drop it 
yeah so and guys here so we started it uh, yesterday 8 uh, p.m 14 minutes and uh, here is a nice feature i want to set automatic reset and this time i will do it uh, at a certain time and because i don't want to monitor that time i don't want to be on the place so we will set it and time uh, 20 and the same 14 minutes around yeah so it doesn't matter so don't say zero statistic override existed oh yeah and then uh we call this period eco eco mode let it be eco mode yeah okay that's fine so save yeah okay good we we save this i can close it yeah on the computer in full screen mode it's is less and less convenient to work with widget widget but okay so now uh, today at 8 pm it will reset automatically we will see zero here but in the statistic we will see one day consumption and it will be it will be called eco mode so uh, and we will see and then i and then uh, well i still need to remember to go to that time and switch to max mode but if i will forget to do this uh, then I can um, just reset it again and start from another period. Uh, well, I'm not sure that you got the point. Okay, that is about energy consumption. And let's check uh, energy metering, actually. Yeah? And let's now go to the energy consumption, right? So again, here I have quite a lot of different stuff. But first three widgeted, I sorted. Here is the feature to sort it. Uh, about this fridge, that it is energized. We spoke about this in the previous, um, in the first video. So the current temperature. But we are interesting about this one. We wanted to check how often it's turned on and off uh, the compressor. And we discussed that uh, we can do this only with this lock feature. And now we can see it here. Uh, so it's reversed. It's okay. Yeah. I can click, I think. And then we... Yeah. Okay. Let's start from somewhere. From somewhere here, for example. Yeah. It was yesterday. So uh, look. Um, uh, 56 minutes uh, power consumption rise, which means 25 watts, which means that um, uh, the compressor started. Yeah. And it has been working just one minute for some reason. Then it stopped. Uh, yeah, power consumption fault, one watt is standby power. And uh, about uh, nine minutes, it was off. Then it, uh, okay, that's uh, not clear. Well, I think here was happened. Uh, I, yeah, I know what happens here. It's about high hysteresis, high hysteresis, how to pronounce it correctly. It's quite heavy stuff, guys. I don't go deep to this now. So it means, but just briefly it means that at some point it dropped below 25 but not below uh two watts thresholds and then raised again above 20 and that's why uh we miss it here but it's okay okay let's go next so it stopped uh, uh 20 to 13 but it start to work quickly again after after a couple minutes then it ran for three minutes stopped for two minutes well okay but i have seen uh, closer to the morning some different stuff so i thought um again in the opposite direction let's let's check from that side side oh, 50 watts that's not interesting for us right now so for example it uh, started at 28 minutes after was stopped yeah I think we can see here that two minutes is the period when uh, uh, 
uh, when uh, the compressor doesn't work and uh, and actually running period here wow but here it was 24 minutes it was running look yeah or maybe I should play better with these settings I don't know but it looks like that yeah guys you got the idea yeah so it's just about playing with uh, these values but um, actually so if you keep it at minus 20 when when the outdoor is uh, 22 yeah roof temperature 33 because it's clouds and ground temperature is 19 so and when you keep it uh, this way um, at minus 20 it almost always running so uh, uh, what does it mean it means the cost of electricity and noisy yeah so noisy is one thing but the cost of electricity is still small and we will see it uh, soon at the end of the day here and guys i'm not sure if i will show you but uh, well i have to yeah but it will be not even one kilowatt as you understand so it's just a few cents or maybe nothing actually so let's get back to this later and also we'll test uh, uh, the maximum mode late. Well, guys, exactly 8 p.m. 14 minutes now. Yeah, so already 15, and we have zero here because, as I explained to you, it was reset automatically and start the new cycle. So, and now we have our starts. So, one day power consumption. Can you figure out how much is it? Yeah, so it's zero euro because it's it is uh, zero point. Well, it's something really small. So really small. Uh, I will put in the description. I will multiply this for thirty days, and we will know how much in one month. So, but now we start the new uh, cycle. Actually, I just now change from eco to uh, max yeah okay fine and the next one day we will be monitoring uh, the difference between this and maximum mode and actually I can again set to reset it uh, on the same day but tomorrow by the way you can see we don't have any settings because we did it once and that's it yeah so and we do this again now we do this tomorrow up, up. tomorrow is friday wow friday let it be 16 doesn't matter yeah so yeah right right how to yeah so safe Tomorrow we will, have, we will have another number. Okay, I am over computer. One day is not yet expired. But anyway, we have uh, some tendency that I will show you. And then uh, we will just check the power consumption in 8 p.m. So you can see when I select maximum profile, you clearly can see the difference. So it's more often on. So... Uh, it is a kind of more flat line that we had here so you can see that is the difference yeah so it was about eight o'clock when we switched and that that is what we have but we still don't reach uh, minus 20 and basically we don't see any difference so in the <clears throat> eco mode it, it allows to a drop to minus 17 and 3 and in the maximum mode actually the same values and I actually want to show you this on the phone uh, because it, it is somehow in this uh, uh, smaller scale uh, can be seen uh, better not here but look 
and this feature for last three hours. Wow, nice. So we can see the profile. Uh, so the fluctuation is between minus 17 and minus 18 and 5. Let me show you this in Fahrenheit. Uh, okay, and now again for last three hours. Between, I think, something like minus 1 and plus 1. Yeah, so I will get back to more convenient, at least for me, Celsius. So uh, also here we can see like for today only it will be uh, like that one. Oh, actually today, 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 19 July. Yeah, so. Well, but if we want to see and compare, for example, that one. Yeah, so remember between minus 17 and minus 18 and 5 with the same from tomorrow then the only option here would be to select the similar three hours from yesterday. Uh, three hours, let's say, between... Uh, well, I actually don't remember when we tested it yesterday, but at least at this time, like 13, till, for example... Um, mm, uh, 13, 3 hours will be is it, uh, 14. Uh, so, do I have. Wait a moment, I have to think what I got here. I don't know why 99 here and 99 there, but now I have uh, 3 hours, period at least. Yeah? So, let's try. Let's try to see this. Yeah! And you can see, yes, there was eco mode, but actually we somehow have been uh, up to minus 19 and minus between minus 17 and between uh, minus 19. So this difference between eco and uh, uh, max mode, I don't understand the difference at all. Yeah, so almost the same. But how nice is to check is with this temperature profile of the fridge or freezer and guys when i decided to check uh, the monitoring and the log of power consumption i found some gap here between yesterday 8 pm and today 7 uh, and today uh, 5 pm and what it means uh, it means that um, things we recorded here in the statistic of this um, yesterday power consumption they are not up to 8 p.m. but up to about 7 p.m. which actually will not change things a lot but unfortunately I didn't start a new period from yesterday well let's put it simple uh, because I have some issue with this I socket, so let's put it simple. I will do the new test. I will use this new I socket. I will test again, and then I will share um, briefly. I will try briefly just two-day comparison between uh, eco profile uh, power consumption for one day and um, maximum mode power consumption for the second day. And guys, I actually have been using this um, ice socket for the cool box. I will now show you this cool box and then we will get back to here. It's that a cool box, Krivit from Lidl. I, you probably know this. I actually screened a lot of materials about it, but never recorded them and never made the video. Probably I will do in the future. And I still use this a lot in my board uh, up to now. Uh, because now I'm testing this one and soon actually subscribe probably it will be in the next episode I will finally test this from the 12 volts uh, 12 volts adapter in this board we will see how much uh, battery it will drain over the time we will then charge the battery and see how many amps hour we load it to the battery after uh, that fridge uh, it will be very interesting at least for me for myself so I usually recording a video for myself and share information with you. So a kind of note and uh, memorizing for myself. So guys, that was this cool box and you, you will see um, profile of this box right now.
Oh, and you know, these cool boxes, they are not compressive cool boxes, they cannot uh, drop less than 20 degrees from the current temperature. And uh, why I want to share this with you, because I want also to memorize it for myself, it was in, two, in 2022 when I tested this cool box, uh, we had about 30 degrees. Yeah, in Finland we can have this temperature. Uh, outside and the minimum what I could uh, go get uh, it's quite inconvenient with the finger about 10 degrees so exactly 20 degrees difference about exactly <laughs> about exactly so I couldn't go less with this cool box then I was testing with some heating then we had like 25 and look we dropped uh, it's actually so inconvenient through the screen uh, we dropped to 2.8 again about 20 degrees and the profile you can see it quite flat yeah it's better seen here on the computer it is because there is no compressor that stop start stop start it's constantly cooling and the temperature uh, that it can uh, provide with 20 degrees difference from the current one so I will uh, lose this profile quite soon and we will start looking at the profile of the new fridge. I don't want to rename anything here so you will continue to this uh, to see this. Actually guys, sorry, you will not see anything about the temperature anymore because we discussed everything about the temperature. We will need to discuss about uh, power consumption. Okay, replaced. One day in the maximum mode first. Well guys, that's it. Two days of monitoring in the eco mode and the um, maximum mode uh, before I test it in DC uh, current in this uh, board. So what we have. Yeah, let's take a look at the statistic. You know how to use it because you have seen it before. So we have just poor start. We have the maximum mode uh, one day exactly as you can see here and we have half kilowatts uh, which is according to our prices is about seven euro cents almost nothing per day but well if we multiply 30 I need the calculator yeah uh, well, and then in eco mode we have almost the same. So about seven cents per uh, day. So multiply thirty. Uh, yeah, guys, you it doesn't cost you much to run it. Uh, well, I promise not to show about uh, anything about the temperature, right? But. I want to show because it's quite interesting. It's quite interesting here. Yeah, because I noticed a uh, couple things. First, look. It was the eco mode. Yeah. And it was max mode. Well, uh, sorry, quite opposite. Wait a moment, please. Did I tell you that? Yeah, because first I tested in maximum mode, right? Yeah, statistic. Now it's eco mode. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So first uh, day I tested in max mode, then in eco mode. Yeah, that's why it is quite interested. Uh, interesting. Uh, look here. Uh, in maximum mode, uh, you, uh, we have uh, fluctuation, well, we cannot uh, see exactly on this um, graph, but we can see here. So we have it higher on the maximum mode than on the eco mode. In eco mode, we actually have lower temperature. That's quite interesting, yeah? So you can see these beers here, yeah. Uh, this one is when we didn't have connection. Well, there was a reason, I don't want to explain you. Uh, so there was no connection, that's why here is the gap. But this guy, this is guys in the maximum mode. And this is in eco, lower profile, that's quite strange. And that is the most interesting, let me try to push it. 
here by my fingers it's quite difficult yeah it was about 2 p.m. today when actually I opened the door of this garage and after and we have about uh, 27 uh, Celsius plus today in Finland yeah we we do have sometimes summer uh, yeah so and that's quite interesting after that the profile has changed so it, it was almost always running here is the interesting feature we can actually look just for today yeah that was that has happened when I opened this door I don't know why but it was it means that it was running more and more uh, the profile has changed significant I don't know why yeah so and here is another interesting feature for last three hours well now it's not so interesting yeah for today is more interesting yeah guys so that's what we have I, I don't make any conclusions because I don't know what conclusions to make but let's take a look also on the uh, log in the power consumption yeah so uh, let's let's meditate about it let's start from somewhere for example here so switch on yeah rice then about 20 minutes is on then about three minutes is off then again exactly 20 minutes is on then again about three minutes is off again about 20 minutes is on okay we we can see quite clear picture but let's take a look what was there before i opened the door for example in the night yeah so uh, 38 is off uh, well about 3 minutes is off and then again about 20 minutes is running hm. that's quite interesting then 3 minutes is off well it's almost the same the same behavior so I don't know why the temperature profile has changed because actually more heat comes here probably it's it is related with some somehow with ventilation that going through uh, these uh, cells grills yeah so I don't know how to treat it but at least uh, yeah we see the profile of this freezer we see um, uh, temperature profile we see the power consumption and guys I think that's it in my next video I plan to test this from DC in the board or probably because I have batteries here I will test it right here with another awesome devices from uh, Victron Energy uh, I don't know yet but if you are subscribed you will get notifications if you are not subscribed consider to subscribe so let's see how it works in the real hot environment outdoor from 12 volts in next uh, video thank you bye